Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to use Amazon Web Services command line interface within Google Colab. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance you have already worked with AWS. If you're new to AWS, a brief introduction here shows that AWS is, as of 2022, the largest provider of cloud computing services. Cloud computing is used for various tech, data science, and operations management processes. The first thing that we'll do is we're going to pip install AWS CLI within our Google Colab session. Then I'm going to move to the AWS management console. Once you're logged in, what we'll have to do is we're going to have to get credentials and a token. I'll have all this blurred out, but I'll explain where we type everything in. If we go to the top right hand corner under your username, you click it then you are going to click security credentials. We're going to go to access keys and we need to create a new access key if you do not have one made. Hit the button and you can choose to download the key or if you don't want to download the key, you can just have it shown here where you can copy and paste it into the Google Colab session. And we see here that we have the access key and it is currently active. Let's go back. What we'll do next is we're actually going to call AWS within our bash script in Google Colab. I'm going to start with an exclamation point and I'm going to type in AWS configure. And at this point, I am going to pass in the access key as well as some security information the output that I want the information to come out of and the region that I'll be working out of. So I'm going to put that information in right now. Now that I have the access key ID, the secret access key, as well as the region name and output input, I'll just quickly go over this. For the region name, you may have a default setup within AWS already but you can also pass in a different region. I just put in US one, East one because it's one of the most used default regions. And you can also have different output formats. In this case, I chose text, but you can also use JSON, YAML, or a table output format to do this. At this point, I am going to clear this output and we're actually going to bring up a AWS command. And this gives us the latest configuration. Here we can see the vast variety of tools. And since AWS is such a large platform, they have so many tools that you could work with. For example, we have Cloud9, which is used for applications. There's Alexa, which is one of the voice products that Amazon has, tools for billing, and there's a lot that we have here. We can learn more about these by going to the AWS help function. So let's go into that right now. And just like in Python, when you use help, this gives a description of the specific tool, AWS tool that you are you may look to work with or learn about depending on what you're doing. So Cloud9 is a collection of tools where you can test and debug, then it goes over some different things here. And we can go into also the available commands for Cloud9. That's all listed here in the command in the help function. And just to give a brief example of one of these, I am going to call EC2, which is the Elastic Compute Cloud, which if you're a business or you're a developer or you're running some machine learning algorithm, you can rent out a virtual machine or a GPU. In this case, what this, fun what this command is going to do is we're going to look at the spot history. In this case, the pricing to purchase the rental of specific types of instances in this case, it's going to be the m1.xl. The product description is it's going to be Linux, Unix, 
and I'm going to do this for April 6th to April 7th. And I'm also going to export this into text format. I'll run this and see if we can get the information. And if I look here, we were able to download the information within down into a text file and I have it saved locally now. And that's just one of the very many tools that you can use in Amazon Web Services. I hope that this introductory video was helpful and that this helps anybody who wants to run AWS CLI on Google Colab. I included various resources from Amazon as well as the AWS CLI project on GitHub. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe on YouTube. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and GitHub. Thanks everybody for watching and happy coding.